Greetings to you! Let us explore the meaning behind the lyrics of Hordes Ready on Nagelfar by Burden of Emir. In general, the song tells us about a particular ship in the Norse mythology. This ship is made from the nails of the dead and at the end of times it will bring legions of monsters to slay the gods. Let us begin. As already mentioned, Nagelfar is a very particular ship in the Norse mythology. First of all, it is built from the unclipped nails of the deceased. To be even more precise, it is still being built, so the tradition advises to properly clip the nails of the dead, lest they contribute to the construction. Secondly, when the end of the world comes, Nagelfar will be the ship that will carry evil beings towards the place of the final battle between the gods and the monsters. The trickster mentioned in the song is the god Loki, known for his mischievous nature and endless struggling against the other gods. Another one is Hrim, who will lead an army of giants called Jotnar or Jotun in singular form. Together, these two will be accompanied by the many inhabitants of Hell, the realm of the dead. This army will follow the giant serpent Jormungandr and the giant wolf Fenrir. Both of them will have been unleashed earlier and both will play their own roles in the destruction of the world. Just to recap and recall all the many names from the previous verse, the ship Nagelfar will carry a malicious god, a legion of the dead and an army of giants. All of these fine creatures will follow a monstrous serpent and a colossal wolf. Nagelfar will be sailing from Muspelheim, the realm of fire, where it has presumably been anchored before. A light brown or beige eagle will follow it, gnawing on corpses. The bridge mentioned here is Bifrost, the rainbow bridge that connects all the different realms of the North cosmology. At one end of Bifrost stands Asgard, the realm of the gods. Both the bridge and the realm will be destroyed in the ensuing battle. The Aesir are the aforementioned gods and the inhabitants of Asgard. They will clash with many marvelous and horrifying creatures and will kill many of them, but in the end will all perish. In the very end, the fire giant Surtur will cover the whole world with fire, burning almost everything to ashes, destroying the world.
The last verse mainly reiterates what has already been stated previously, so I will dedicate this part to provide some commentary on the whole idea of Nagelfar. There is evidence that clipping the nails and hair of dead people has been a religiously significant act since at least around the second millennium BC. In other terms, the tradition started some 4000 years ago, way before the Scandinavians became a separate group of people. The main hypothesis is that nails have been seen as the border of the body, something that is between the person and the outer world. Maintaining a border between the two states has been metaphysically important, because it guaranteed that everything stayed in its place, everything was in proper order. Doing otherwise would bring chaos and instability, and that means danger. If the nails of a deceased have been too long, it means that the border has been stretched, diluting the strict order of things. This is why it has been important to trim the nails and dispose of them in a proper manner. In other words, if the nails are too long, the border between a person and non-person is too wide and too unclear, and that endangers the natural order of things. With time, this perceived danger of not clipping nails transformed into the fear of bringing physical danger into the world in the form of a ship full of monsters. That's all for the meaning behind the lyrics of Hordes Ready on Nagelfar by Burden of Ymir. All the links to the band are in the description and thanks for watching.